Now it's time for Culture Talk, where we talk about culturally relevant topics that you can use to start conversations about your faith. And I am joined today with the philosopher and theologian Ken Samples. Hi, Thank Sandra. Thank you for joining us. Sure. We're going to be talking about what I understand is your favorite season, besides yes. basketball season maybe, <laughs> um, is the Advent season. It is. So I, I hear you say that word often, right. and I think some people might not be familiar with what sure. Advent is. So can you explain what yeah. that word means? Well, if you think back to kind of the tradition, more traditional liturgical churches, mm -hmm. so we'd include Catholic, Orthodox, mm -hmm. Anglican, Methodist, Lutheran, they have what we call a traditional church calendar. Mm -hmm. and, and instead of all of the days that might be on our calendar, it centers around the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. So Advent would be the beginning of the church year, even though it's in December, it's the beginning of the church, it's Jesus coming into the world. But then it would extend on down to uh, the heart of the Christian year, which would be things like Lent and Good Friday mm -hmm. and the resurrection. And so this is a kind of, uh, this, is, this is a way of looking at our lives mm -hmm. in light of the great events of Jesus's right. life. So Advent season then, it's, it's a whole season yeah. distinct from Christmas day. So what, Correct. what involves um, the Advent season. Yeah, so it would be largely the the four Sundays that precede the coming of Christmas. Mm -hmm. You would have the celebration of Advent. Mm -hmm. The word means coming, mm -hmm. and so it's a time in which Jesus's followers would be uh, anticipating that coming, uh, looking at their own lives in light of the great coming of the Lord, mm -hmm. um, and it would be a special time of uh, singing songs that relate to the doctrine of the incarnation or God in human flesh, and it would accumulate in cr singing Christmas carols and the celebration of, mm -hmm. of Christmas. So then when we see people with their um, Advent wreaths and yeah. they have like four different candles, it's all representing yeah. each Sunday within that season. That's right. right. And, and it's seen as a time of celebration, mm -hmm. but it's also seen as a time of introspection. You know, what, what does the what will the coming of the Lord mean to me? Mm -hmm. And so it's my favorite time of year. I love the I love it when we sing Christmas carols in the church. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a great, great time. Right. And so you mentioned another word that maybe some people might not be familiar yeah. with, and that's the incarnation. Can you explain right. what that is? Yeah, it's a Latin word, so mm -hmm. it's not in the New Testament mm -hmm. as it was written. The New Testament was written in Greek, mm -hmm. but carne means flesh. So a mm -hmm. carnivore eats flesh. It means that Jesus has come in the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Greek word that's used is sarx, where we have sarcasm, mm -hmm. the cutting of the flesh. So this is the great biblical teaching, the great historic Christian teaching that Jesus is the second person of the Trinity, but now he has taken on a human nature mm -hmm. and become man. So the early Christians would call him in Greek, the Theanthropos or the God-man. Mm -hmm. So that's, and, and his work will lead to his death mm -hmm. and ultimately to his resurrection. And God, man, when you when you say that together, it's still having his divinity, but also having his humanity. Truly God, truly man, mm -hmm. a single person with both a divine and human nature. Mm -hmm. So what are some things that you think are important to reflect on during the Advent season? Yeah, um, well, you know, think about the visited planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody once said that it's a remarkable thing for a, a man to walk on the moon, but it's a greater thing for God to walk on the earth. Mm -hmm. So when I think about that, I think that God has taken human nature like me. Mm -hmm. uh, his nature is not sinful as mine is, but God has visited the planet. I mean, if we met Jesus, he was a carpenter. He would probably have calluses on his hands. Mm -hmm. God has come and lived our life. He's mm -hmm. suffered with us and for us. And so I view it as a God who has wounds, and it all began with the birth of Jesus in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Right. And, and there's a lot that Christ did, even in his birth, um, yep. to really show that he was for everyone. So can you give us some examples of 
Christ's birth and how it was inclusive of all people. Yeah. Uh, well, if you think of you think of the shepherds in the mm -hmm. fields, you think of the kings that come. This is a universal proclamation that there's the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the one who will do God's bidding. Mm -hmm. And so, if you think of Israel being in the east, this is going to be inclusive of people in the east. And then later, as Christianity spreads, it will be inclusive of the people in the right. west. And I think that's such an affirming message, especially yeah. now, is that Christ was born for all and, yeah. and died for all. And I think that's just an yeah. encouragement. So when we think about Advent season as your favorite season, right. um, what are some traditions that you hold to that make this season so special to you? Yeah, I, I even when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I like the decorations. I mean, I used to tell my parents when I was a boy, they're getting ready. And I, I like that. That's <laughs> what I communicated to my kids. You know, we're, we're preparing. Mm -hmm. I like I like Christmas trees. I like decorating the Christmas trees. I like lighting the Advent candles. Mm -hmm. Um, I even like the purchasing of gifts. God has given us his gift of his son. And so I think it's a time for cooking and mm -hmm. a time for celebrating and a time of reflecting about this deep mystery that God has taken a human nature. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's extraordinary. So let's say you're having some sort of Christmas gathering. I mean, not that we're going to get into like a deep theological conversation, yeah. but what are some little tidbits that might be a source of comfort um, yeah. for someone who has fallen away or um, who really is kind of curious about this yeah. man called Jesus. Well, I, I think that the greatest part of Christianity is Jesus himself. What, what I like to do is, is to collect together select biblical passages that talk not only about the birth of Jesus, but talk about his identity. I mean, even in the Old Testament, he's given these titles, these divine titles. I, I like to have select scripture passages that people in my family can read and we can, we can talk about. And of course, I, one passage that is really special to me is when Jesus says, you know, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, mm -hmm. and I'll give you rest. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus can give somebody rest for the soul, and we all need that. Right, especially during such a hectic, busy season. Yeah, yeah? right. Well, thank you so much for that, Ken. I know that you love Advent season. Yep. So if you would like to learn more about this season, um, go to reasons.org and search Advent.